The cooler months, colder months, frigid months uh, bring higher energy bills. And if you live in an area with harsh winters, heating your home may be so much more expensive this year in particular. Nick Smith is joining us now live in Chicago to talk about how we can be more energy efficient. Absolutely. Adrian, the first thing you want to do is you want to do your cold and dry. Oh, man. I hope that it works better. Are you able to hear us now? Can you hear me now? Remember that commercial? I hear you. Okay, good. Can you hear me? <laughs> we want to be energy efficient and technically you, efficient. You see, you, see how, you see how those cost savings want to try to stop us from giving people tips? We're not going to let that happen because what we want to do is we want to talk about different ways to keep the energy in the house. Beth, you and I were talking about sealing off those drafty areas. Absolutely. This is something called a weather strip. It's easy to install yourself, or sometimes you can get those nice, big, more fabricy weather draft stoppers. But what this will do is we want to seal off any gap coming in from underneath your door. So saving from saving, preventing drafts, that's going to really keep in your heat and save energy. Windows are another way. Windows are another way. So the first thing you want to do when it starts to get cold is you want to lock your windows. Because that makes a difference. It Why? makes a big difference. So we want to get that sealed tight. You want to push it up, push it down, maybe get a friend to really get in there, make sure it locks, and that's what's going to keep that seal between those two panes. And we talked about even taping it off with, sometimes with plastic or some type of heavy plastic from a local yeah, hardware store. Those are easy to do. If you do have good windows um, and newer windows, you don't necessarily have to always do that plastic sheeting. If you do have old windows, even when they're locked, they may still have a draft around the frame. That plastic sheeting can definitely save you energy, and it's pretty easy to self-install. And the thing I remember, too, is we want to disconnect those ceiling fans. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I am so glad you brought that up. No, ceiling fans are our friend all year round. Even in the winter. Even Seriously. in the winter. So all it is is you got to make sure that it's spinning the right way. So around that time where you want to lock your windows, make sure everything's shut and sealed, you want to make sure that ceiling fan is spinning, spinning clockwise. Why clockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise in the winter time, that will push the warm air down to around where I hang out, down here. And then in the summertime, that's when you want it spinning counterclockwise to pull that air up and through the room. I'm so glad you said that. You've given us tips on lighting. You've given us tips on thermostats. You've given us tips on how to keep that heat inside the home. If people have follow-up questions, how can they find you? Oh, they can always contact me at Beth at Verde.expert. No question too silly. I love it all, and it's so easy. These are simple behaviors everyone can do. And there are programs available for some people to in install those energy-efficient items in their homes. Absolutely. Check with your local utility incentive programs. See, I love that. Stuff that we can use. Easy. There we go. Love that. That's so how we go into the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.